Kavik River Camp is 197 miles north of the Arctic Circle, and Sue Aikens, its sole caretaker, is in a constant battle against Mother Nature. Freeze up marks the time of year when caribou and other animals migrate south. As the tundra's food sources thin out, predators become more desperate. I am a food group. I'm not top of the food chain. So every day, every morning, every night, I've got to look for predators. I'm fully aware, in my mind, I live in their territory. They do not live in mine. There's more stuff that wants to eat me than I want to be eaten by out here. It's always a challenge, just staying alive day to day. All animals figure out where other animals sleep. Where are they denning up? Where are they bedding down? Yeah, he's, he's testing my line. Keep it down. It's a bed and a really big crunching. He was here. There's no telling me how to get there. Don't go too far. That's exactly what a predator wants to do. Shut the door. Right there. Okay, whatever it is. It's big. The foxes have little prints and they crunch a little. This is big. It's a... He's going this way. When I was in bed, he went that way. You, you can tell that the footprints. It's, I mean, I'm 10 to 1. Pretty sure it's either the wolf or the wolverine. So, my heart's racing a little bit. But I mean, this is what it is to live in the Arctic. I, but for me to go out there to investigate, that's what a predator does. He draws you away from the herd, from your safety zone. And I stand my ground. I'll look, but there's no way I'm coming inside. They want to get me, they're coming right in here. Tomorrow morning when it's light, I'll go look at tracks. Tonight, that son of a bitch got to get in here to get me. I'm probably not going to sleep very much, but if anybody wants to play at poker, I got the winning hand right here. <laughs> 